We have like five questions in here, okay. so that'll be good quality. Uh, oh, thanks. Okay, let's see. Okay. One question is okay? That's a-okay. Okay, I mean, we're just gonna be here for a couple minutes. I'll go ahead and set my timer. Hopefully none of this makes it, because it just looks frantic. But maybe it looks good. I don't know. Is it relatable? I think so, because everybody's frantic in life and trying to, you know, make it. That's very get wise. It. Okay, when should I start pressing the, this button? Okay, whenever you want. You can do it now. <coughs> That's what it will sound oh, like. Oh, goodness. Welcome back to People Talk Alike. I'm your host, William Haynes. I'm Jessica. I'm Luis. Yeah. I'm in front of the camera this time. Look at him. Look at that, look what I did. I went from behind and then just said, hey, I'm gonna sit down right next to you. <laughs> You're always the uh, the secret fourth member of people be like, always. It's like, I, like, like the weekend. Like the weekend, like I he, mean. Like really show his face until for like, a long all right, time. Yeah. I'm gonna show my face now. He really? did a lot for Drake, he did a lot for mm -hmm. Rihanna. I didn't like, know that. Yeah, he's, he's an yeah, incredible he was like writer. Little, yeah. yeah, 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 he's an incredible uh, musician. You're the weekend of I'm people the, who I'm the like, weekend, and I just I'm got Drake, a haircut. You're Rihanna, nice. yeah. oh, John's yeah. party next door. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Who almost, are you? I'm Drake. He's and, Drake. And he's yeah. the weekend. Uh, on the weekend, baby. Welcome back to the show. We're taking everybody's questions uh, on the show. You know how this goes. It's one of them programs. We Bring got the a, whole basket. I know we got a basket, like, because, you know, like, you know what? Forget it. Let's just do a basket. I don't know what you want to do. Let's take these pens out. I don't want you to get stabbed. I know. You can get poked. I really don't yeah. want to get poked. I, I, <laughs> and the other one. Oh ooh. snap! That's a it's for our 3D uh, viewers. Ooh, yeah. is that a feature on I YouTube don't know. Premium? We should we should prepare for it. <laughs> I mean, it'll come if they want to go back in time. Be like, and like, oh, they didn't shoot this in 3D. When's the last time you cried? Oh, last night. Oh, you cried? I cried last night, right? Why? Yeah. Um, why did I cry? I was super okay. I was watching the Avengers. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's right. I, I mean, the the last one is already out, but you went back and watched 2012 Avengers or no, the, Ultron. Uh, Ed game, in game. You watched in game. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I watched thought you on were the talking IMAX. about. I thought you were went to a screening of one of the old ones. You went to go see in game. I went to go see How many again. Times have you seen that? This is my fourth time. Fourth, fourth time. time. Four times, baby. That's respect. Oh man, yeah. I went to different theaters. I went to. Arc lights. I went to AMC Prime, and then I went to the IMAX at Universal. So oh I had different experiences. Goodness. Which one was your favorite? Uh, so screen screen size, IMAX is really good. At Huge. Universal only. The one in Burbank, not so much. That doesn't but count. The, yeah, no, that one doesn't count. It's just like a movie. It's a normal, like sized. Yeah, it's just I'm cheap. Bent. It's a fake IMAX. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the Prime, way more comfortable. Screen a lot brighter, okay. and the sound just a little bit better. So it kind of depends. If you're like a casual, but I kind of want a good experience, go yeah. Prime. Yeah. If you want, I want a pure IMAX. I don't care if I suffer a little bit. Yeah. Go to the IMAX at Universal. Yeah, yeah I have Universal. AMC my... Movie Pass. Or That's not I have. The, the A-list. A -list. The A-list one, not the Movie Pass. I know you still have that. I still yeah. have it. And I watched Us, tw I saw it like normally, and then I went to the IMAX to watch Us, and I was really disappointed that those seats didn't go back. Yeah. Oh, they have that, is that, yeah, they have the thing where the seats move on. Oh, oh yeah, I want you, go, you can choose which option you go this way, and then you go this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want that. To, to but not all movies have that, like, right? Um, You want that in Avengers. Oh, yeah. If yeah. I'm in a spaceship, like, if I'm watching some kind of Chris Pratt movie, <laughs> I want to be doing all this. Yeah. yeah well, but... you're not, they're, not, they're not moving you, you're you're moving yourself. Oh, I thought you guys were saying, like, the seats are moved to the movie. No, I'm like, no. that's tight, I want that, <laughs> yeah. Dude, we're just moving to get comfortable. Oh, yeah. I want movies to also have scents too but then that would sometimes I would never want it to be a bad smell though I don't want to ever be submitted to a bad smell there was a Rugrats okay I don't know I, remember. I don't like this I remember already. but there, there was I think the Rugrats movie when it came out but then you went to Burger King to mm -hmm. get like the watches and then also they gave you a, a little like sticker yeah. and it had the scratch, scratch and sniff. but you're talking about the Rugrats meet the th wild thorn I don't remember <laughs> which Rugrats movie it was but I know that there was I a remember that I very much remember that part and of my life and it was like yeah. scratch this at like this part for that. like banana yeah. yeah and I remember there was like the stinky one it was like the, the feet or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. and I did not smell it I was like I'm never gonna submit myself to a yeah. bad smell it didn't smell well, that bad it didn't smell that bad no it was I, yeah, just yeah, like a little bitter yeah, yeah, but yeah, those are tight. I don't want to scratch anything to smell it, but I want the theater to be filled with some type of good smell. They have one in, in downtown LA. They do? Yeah, it's like a ride one, and yeah. then you, it throws smell at you. So like, when, when you watch Transformers, you just get a bunch of fuel. Just like, yeah, that's not yeah. Like exhaust, I mean, like, ugh. I'm into it. Yeah, I'm into it. Like that would take make movie making to another level that I'd yeah. really want to see. And doesn't that just Captain EO at Disneyland was like literally a movie theater that kind of moved? Yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty much what it was. But that's some '80s stuff. 
But when was the last time I cried? I'm not oh, gonna yeah. lie. A couple <laughs> of days ago. I know I already brought up Drake, but uh, my friend was like, I've never seen a God's Plan music video. I was like, all right, well, let's do it. And like, you know, in that video, he's like giving people, like he's like showing up like, oh, I surprised you, I'm mm. Drake. And not only did I surprise you, here's $50,000 to your school. Twenty thousand dollars to the firemen in the school district, and he did all this in the city of Miami. And I was like, and I've seen this video That's like amazing. twice before. I haven't seen That's that. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, in the video, he like they they're like, oh, the 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 label gave us a budget of one million dollars, and we spent it all on this. Yeah. And like it was that it was it's pretty tight. Like it's a dream to be able to go back to my community. He's not even from Miami. I would love to go to my community. He just likes their basketball team. Yeah. He's like cool. <laughs> and then no, he's with the Raptors. Like he he like oh, has a deal okay. with the Raptors in Toronto. But yeah, I would love to be able to go to any city and be able to help it flourish economically and and all of that, like yeah. just for a music video. Yeah, See, that, I, that got me to tear up. I, I don't know if I told you this plan I had, but like if we ever like make it, make it, and we can make a blockbuster film like an Avengers. Yeah, you just have like a all star cast. Yeah, and you say, listen. Uh, a portion of this budget, like whatever it makes, is gonna go to charity. Like we're gonna feed the world. I love oh that. yeah. So oh, like yeah. you know, a big budget makes four hundred million. What if like half, two hundred million goes to like feeding? So we're all like having a good time watching an awesome movie, yeah. but we're all like supporting the world. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dope. like the environment. Yeah. 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 That's so sweet. I, I want that. Yeah. Like uh, like it's an event. Like everybody come together, watch just yeah. like some awesome. big yeah. blockbuster film. And yeah. See, yeah. Why? Yeah. Why don't they do that? Because like you know, like there's the big uh, issue with uh, Flint has no clean water. Like still. How is there no millionaire billionaire that's like you know what I'm gonna be the one to solve this yeah. problem? Yeah. Like go, like go ahead and make a big deal about it and get some kids some water. Like that's yeah. true. Like what 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 was taking all the rich people in the country so long to do something about? Know. That. This is when Will starts running for president. <laughs> yeah. oh, I mean, I mean, it's just simple. I mean, like e even for the evil rich people who are like, I just want to look good in front of black people. Like, <laughs> fix, fix the water situation. It'll work. No one's gonna be mad at you. No one's gonna be mad at you. No one's gonna be like, please stop. No one's gonna be like, ah, that, that, that asshole. No, like you're gonna look real good. Yeah. Fix the water situation. One of you rich fucks. <laughs> I didn't think about well, that until you reminded me. <laughs> Shit, that is an issue. Why haven't we the figured that out? The last time I cried was also yesterday. It was yesterday because in Mexico it's Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, shit. I miss my yeah. mom. And so I cried a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. It's not that I great. About that. Yeah. Well, don't worry. You have until Sunday, too. I know, but we celebrate the 10th as well. Oh, well, just send it. Just, just, okay. just. Did you, buy, already, buy, did you already buy a present? By it's the time okay. this goes up, it'll be it's fine. already with <laughs> It's going to be great. You'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Things will be great. It's going to, no, no yeah. worries. Don't worry, about, I, don't worry I, about me. I'm not doing nothing for my mom for Mother's Day this year. Look, I love my mom a lot. My mom knows this. I've been spending a lot of time with my mom because, you know, I've been like between the Bay and LA a lot yeah. this year. And I've been spending a lot of time with my mom, and I, I, she's getting on my nerves right now, honestly. Like, <laughs> like, give me a break, mommy. Like, gosh. What's she doing? She's just, she's smothering me. She, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, my, I love my mom so much. It's so funny. I think I told you about it. Like, uh, she uh, just keeps watching Thor Ragnarok on oh, repeat. Yeah. <laughs> because we don't have any cable, so she just keeps watching the same movie oh, twice wow. a day. Twice a day. She'll wake up. Five o'clock in the morning, put it on, and then six o'clock p.m. She's like, "Let's watch Third Ragnarok again." Like, mommy, I know every word to this movie. I hadn't seen it until I was started hanging out with my uh -huh. mom, and she's like obsessed with Valkyrie and stuff. I'm like, God, we need to get some faster internet and some <laughs> cable so my mom can go back to watching Cops. There you go. Yeah. There you go. It's on. The, it's on Hulu. You can put the. Oh uh, goodness. You can put. I'm glad you told me, so I won't let her know that. You can put uh, the audio in Spanish, and then it's, you can learn Spanish. It is you go, mom, we're gonna watch again. We're gonna learn Spanish. Again. With Hola, the, dame, yeah. dame the hammer. <laughs> Actually, uh, I kind of want to see say, that. How do you say hammer in Spanish? Ay, 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 Dios mío. Um, I don't know. Um, hey, Alexa, how do you ha say hammer in Spanish? <laughs> Jesus, you can't do this to me, okay? I know I'm like dame bilingual, <laughs> but like as soon as somebody just... I know. Okay. Even we'll figure it out. And it was like, how do you say hello in Spanish? I'm like, uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> amigo. No. Amigo. It's the hardest thing. Um, we'll think of it. For some reason, I want to say fork, but that's not it. That's what I was going to ask you. How do you fork. say fork? Tenedor. Tenedor. That's a fun one. <laughs> anyway, I just pulled the next one secretly. You're great at while we were. I mean, wow, I'm no just one saying, saw that. No one saw that. <laughs> Um, this is a question that I wrote and I said, how old is your oldest pair of underwear? <gasps> oh. Let's be real. Wait, oh man. Um, 
I had to get rid of them. I remember, you know me, I go through a lot of like emotional changes where I'm like, you know what, I'm not the same me that I was uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I remember I had a period where I was like, these old underwear are holding me yeah, back. I get that. I was like, I, I was like, I cannot have the same underwear from high school. No. I'm like, and my booty's way too big. Like I'm popping out of those. <laughs> so like, uh, yeah, I, I did get rid of all my old you, ones. So you don't have, what's the your oldest pair now? <sighs> Like when was that? Like two years ago? That years was ago? like three years ago. Three years that ago. was actually you know what? It might have been twenty fifteen. I did that, so maybe four years ago, where I was like, mm -mm, "You guys gotta go." <laughs> I think the last one was twenty. What are we? Twenty nineteen? Yeah. Dun, 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 2017? Really? 2017, yeah. Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Yikes! So it's yeah. just me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what is yours? <laughs> well, see, like I still okay in high school. For some reason, one of the things that all the kids would do was go to Victoria's Secret mm -hmm. with your friends. Because the five five panties for $25, that was the deal. So you can go, That's and like deal. Victoria's Secret was always like, you got really cute. I don't know if it's the same thing for So they're for like guys. Five, yeah, $5 each. Yeah, which mm -hmm. is really fun. And they're like really cute prints. Like so I, have, I have ones that say like, happy camper. And uh, it's just like, just, <laughs> they got little trees on them. And they're, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. they're girls, just fun. Girls are so funny about like underwear. I remember I was talking to somebody about it, about how girls were like, oh, I didn't wear the same underwear and bra on a date like no guy is about to be like i can't do it okay that's so, like that's she didn't wear the yeah. same underwear it's I mean, like a more of an internal my motivation socks, yeah it's an internal motivation my socks never match you well, and i are quirky. the same about that's that great. yeah well, you and i both do that but that's why we're such close friends. going yeah. back to my Bold. underwear <laughs> oh yeah i still have the pair of under that underwear that i lost my virginity in oh my wow. god well I mean, you know, I probably do too, but it wasn't that long Cause ago. Cause they're still, they still hold up. They're cute, they they're like boy short, they're really nice, and they're still like holding up because boy old school Victoria's short. Secret were better quality than now. What now happened? they're terrible. They're when, like when really the thin now. When did that start to happen? Like, I don't three know. Three years ago, four years yeah, ago? Yeah, like three years ago. I went back to Victoria's Secret to like buy new underwear and they all like ripped. And I'm like, I'm not getting <laughs> that much action. So yeah. like, I don't understand <laughs> I, why these are ripping. Yeah, I need more cute ones. I need I need some underwear that I only wear when I'm like, well, you know Well, guys what? have socks, right? Yeah. You guys That's express true. yourself via socks. You express ourselves via socks. Yeah. Like, I got very breathable materials. Like very breathable underwear, yeah. very breathable socks. Do you guys have yeah. anything that like makes you feel like happy inside when you're like, these are my favorite. My Calvins. Is this an ad? <laughs> Go to www.calvins.william and get $5 off one pair. Just one. Just one pair. Okay. You well, take one, Louise. I like my underwear. Yeah. I guess I have like a, like, like a, a button down. That, I don't know. It changes because when I put on a clothes, sometimes it stretches. Mm. And I'm like, oh, this doesn't feel right anymore. So uh -huh. I have to get another shirt. So it's mm. kind of like a rotation of like mm. this red one, this denim one, this black short. Okay. What did I write? Uh, this says, what's the thing you're... Oh. Dun, 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 What's the thing you're most afraid of with this new project? Ooh. Thing I'm most afraid of with this new project? I don't know. I don't really have a lot of fears. <laughs> That's great. I failed so much in my life, like, you know, I'm like really proud of it, actually. I was thinking of it the other day, like, I got a lot of messages from people that are like, oh, Will, I'm so proud of you. I'm like, the reason people are so proud of me is because I failed more than anybody publicly. So at this point, like another, like, you know what, like, is that's what I do. That's the hustle. I, 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 I fail for that. a living. <laughs> Somebody asked me this question, like, what was the last, like, failure you got over? Like, you failed and then it wasn't a big deal. And then I was just sitting there and I was like, Shit, I can't think of anything, and so mm. like I got to start failing. Mm, you, you do. Know what I mean? You do. You do. So it I got to start just place. put get, put myself out there. Yeah, yeah. It does that's, put you. In that's why I was like, I admire you. I'm like, yeah, dude, fucking and like not go ahead and lose. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing that scares me. I think the most is that I always feel like I work for companies because I'm afraid if I put myself forward yeah. that I'll fail yeah. publicly. Yeah. But you're always really inspiring to be like, let's fucking go 110. Yeah. percent I'm like, oh yeah. no, no yeah. money. Yeah, my friend was like saying she was asking me like, how are you always like so motivated? And I, I would told her I'm like, well, I am motivated all the time, but at the my at the cost is my mental sanity. Like I'm not like, right. <laughs> like I'm not like I'm I'm constantly like feeling like I'm like I'm every day I wake up and I'm like who who am I? Am I doing enough? And like most people can't live like that. You go crazy if you woke up. But you have and a you're way like, to channel that too. You know yeah. what I mean? Fearlessly. Some people can yeah. like, I want to do something. I need to do something. And then it's like, but I don't want to do it because yeah. I'm afraid. You know? Yeah. And then it just bottles up and then it like and becomes then you cry corrosive. Inside. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Cry yeah. I cry on the outside. Yeah. There I you cry go. on the outside. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 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 Everybody's got to go on Instagram live and cry it out every couple, at least oh once a God. year. If you don't cry it out on Instagram live once a year, what are you really doing? Uh, I'm not. I, 
Did I do that? I think I did. Have when, you cried on Instagram? I think I, I think I cried on Instagram stories. Does that count? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think you cried on Telemundo, too. I, so. Yeah, I'm Univision. <laughs> You're on Univision. You're on Univision? Yeah, yeah, I did the election coverage what? Uh, for really? Univision. Yeah. I was the digital oh, yeah. correspondent in Fuck Spanish, yeah. which was really fun. Yeah. It was my first time on TV, live television. I was in, like... A newsroom. I was really excited. This You're all wearing the blazer. I was wearing Whoa. a blazer. Yeah, I haven't seen pictures. Do you have like video? Oh, oh yeah, 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 it's my Twitter. Uh, oh my god. Head, okay, like, cool. I'll check that out. Whatever. <laughs> and then I thought Hillary was gonna win. Of course right? he did. Because I was in the liberal bubble. I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden, all the news comes in. Little by little, I see all like newsrooms. So, like there's literally like statisticians. Wisconsin like, going Wolf in Blitzer. there and big news, big news. But it's all in Spanish. <laughs> You're watching the Spanish. You're I, it's all in Spanish. Spanish and so Noticias. all of a sudden exactly <laughs> so I'm seeing like these like news anchors that I've seen since I was like you know two years old like brrr, talking all the time and going through and talking to the statisticians and they're being like it's going down guys we're going down and I start crying off like stage yeah. and I'm like oh my god her country's gonna die and then I am watching the office to try to get happy because they're like you're on in five so I was oh like oh my god yeah okay so then I'm on there and then they're like we thought you were crying backstage. Tell us why. And I'm like, fuck, why would you guys let me do this? So then I'm like, cool, they want me to cry. Yeah, why else am... would you ask me that? Yeah. So did you turn it back on or you're like, did you uh, listen well, up I, cause I, then I like just expressed myself yeah. and I was like, I'm really sad about where our country's going into, which we don't need to talk about. I know, I, you know, you know, but it was really funny. I mean, like, but the, it was I, not funny, but at the time it was like, man, yeah. It was the most viral thing that happened on Univision. It was the most shared video. Oh, wow, It was shit. me crying. crying. And oh. then I thought I was become a meme by like, by negative people to be like, ha ha, liberals, yeah. liberal tears. But then like, everyone was really nice. No I'm one laughed at me. Like everyone was like, we really related to you and it, thanks for doing that which it's I was like very cool true. thanks that's very cool <laughs> anyway <laughs> let's not talk about politics anymore <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to do that yeah a couple yeah. days later after that was when I was like you know what I'm gonna run for mayor that's yeah yeah that was a crazy time <laughs> that was it was a strange time that was the most beautiful time uh Will what does relevancy mean to you? Wow, this one is directed at me. Yeah. Uh, uh, wow, I don't know how much time we have left yet, but what does relevancy mean to me? Man, yeah, I guess I have a really uh, interesting pr perspective on, on what relevancy means to me. Like, I was just, uh, it's, uh, I'll to tell you, like, my sister really loves this celebrity. And I, I, this celebrity's cool. And she was just talking about, like, how the, this celebrity has, a, like, a charitable company that's doing things for people. And I told her, I was like, well, that's because in, in Hollywood, if you are rich and famous and mm -hmm. you don't have a charitable uh -huh. company, you look really bad. Yeah. yeah. And, like, someone is, they're paying somebody $100,000 a year to run that charitable company yeah. for no reason, most likely. And I was telling her, you're not really doing something good unless like you unless you're building youth centers unless you're like really like uh moving your community that's what really matters mm -hmm. so like you yeah. know in, in la you run into celebrities all the time and you know but like how many people really matter uh i think to me relevancy is when people you're somebody's champion mm -hmm. like you know if you're going into somebody's community and like building it up from the bottom up making sure people who don't have now have if you're the type of person that's doing that you'll always be relevant no William Hayes for Damn, president. William yeah. Hayes for president. 2042. I, I know what our country can do. Millionaires and billionaires. Uh, thank you guys for watching uh, People Talk Like. <laughs> uh, it's been a great episode. Let us know who you guys want to see on the show and what questions you want us to answer on People Talk Like. Just put them in the comments down below. Uh, we'll see them. You know, I'm William Haynes. Yes, Ika. I'm Luis Gonzalez. And, and this is People Talk Like. Yeah, thanks for sticking around, guys. We haven't been here for a while. Yeah. But keep watching. There'll be an end card somewhere, too, right? I don't, I don't know. know do, do we that. have money for that? An end card? I don't know if we Yeah, do. it's got to run for 20 seconds, though. We have to do for 20 seconds. That 20 is seconds true. end card. So in front of us, there'll be some videos to click to. Oh, see, this is all smart things. Yeah. Okay. This is, I do that as well. Right. So you job. can. it might be covering my head or your head. Who are we paying to do this? <laughs>